All right, now here is a very important feature which exists on your Galaxy phone and you may not be aware of it. I'm talking about backing up all the data from your Galaxy phone onto a USB drive using the built-in Samsung application called Smart Switch. Yes, this is the best way to transfer all your data from your Galaxy phone through a OTG connector and back it up on a USB storage using Smart Switch and believe me guys, this works like a charm. This can be handy when you are switching from one phone to another or whenever you want to factory reset your phone, you don't really have to worry about losing any of the data. May it be images, videos, call logs, messages, applications, audio files, documents, everything can be backed up and restored whenever needed. This is a very important feature so keep watching but before we go ahead if you are interested in knowing your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. Now let's get started. Now this is the USB OTG adapter I have here. I got this along with one of the older Samsung Galaxy Notes when I bought it. If you don't have it, you can buy it separately as well. Then I got this pen drive, which is a USB storage. I will just connect to this and I'll keep it aside. Now on the phone, you need Samsung's smart switch application. This app is available by default. If you don't see this application on the phone, I have left a link for the same in the description. You can head over to the description and download the application. Now let me open the application. As you can see, it shows two options, send data, receive data. Basically, we can transfer data between the devices wirelessly or using the USB Type-C cable. But what we are going to do here is we are going to connect this pen drive onto the phone using this OTG adapter. I'll just connect this. Now to transfer all the data from the phone to this pen drive, all you need to do is tap on this memory card icon on the top right corner. As you can see, it says backup and restore. Save your data to or restore it from an SD card or an external USB storage device. Here you will see USB storage option. Right below that we also have restore from external storage. If you have already backed up the data on the external storage, you can just connect it and restore it by tapping on this option. Now what I'm going to show you is how to back up the data onto this particular pen drive. I'll just tap on USB storage. Here we can select the data to back up. The phone is now preparing the data to be transferred to the pen drive. It's going to take a few seconds so we will have to wait for it. And here it is. We have got three options. First one is everything. It is showing me almost about 60 plus GB of data which can be transferred to the pen drive which includes all the data from your phone. If you want to just transfer accounts, calls, contacts and messages, you can select this option. It is just about 100 MB. Now we also have an option custom. We can tap on custom and tap on next to select the items you want to transfer onto the USB storage. As you can see, we have got call, contacts, messages, applications, which is almost about 40 plus GB, uh, Galaxy wearable data, settings, home screen, images, videos, audio, documents and files. Everything can be backed up right from here. Now what I'll do is I'll just go back and tap on everything and tap on next. Here you see everything has been selected, but on the top, it says there is not enough space. Deselect 34.59 GB of data. So just make sure you are using an external storage with a higher capacity. At least about 32 GB or 64 GB or higher would be preferable depending on the kind of data that you want to transfer onto the drive. So in my case, I've got this 32 GB pen drive. So I will have to deselect some of these options. So what I'll do is I will just tap on apps. Here I can select or deselect the application which I don't want to be backed up on the drive. I can either do this or I can use a storage with higher capacity to copy everything. It's up to you how you want to do it. If you have a lesser storage capacity, depending on the importance of the data, you can deselect the items over here. Once that step is done, just tap on backup. Now here you can see a notification, select messages to transfer. It says transferring a lot of messages could take a while and slow down your phone. If you need to use your phone right now, you might want to transfer your messages later. Here we have got few options. You can select all messages or for the last two years or last one year, depending on your needs, you can select the options here and then tap on transfer. Just tap on transfer. Here it says data backed up and encrypted using your Samsung account. Tap on OK. As you can see here, the data is being backed up on this external drive using the Samsung Smart Switch application, which is fantastic. While backing up the data, if you want to use your phone, you can go ahead and use it. The Smart Switch will run in the background, allowing you to do anything you want on the phone. And if you want to stop the transfer, just go back to the app, 
tap on stop. This will stop transferring the data and close the smart switch application. This is certainly an amazing feature or a tool we have got on Samsung Galaxy phones which you all must know. Let me know how many of you guys were aware of it. Have you used smart switch before to back up the data on an external drive? Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye. Like